Today, we're diving into the exciting world of dashboard design, exploring the trending pneumorphism style. Join me as we embark on a journey from Dribble to Power BI, crafting a stunning dashboard that's sure to turn heads and boost your data visualization game. Let's dive in. Step one, finding inspiration on Dribble. The first step in our journey is to find inspiration for our pneumorphism dashboard design. We'll head over to Dribble, a treasure trove of design ideas to explore various dashboard styles and elements. Go to dribble.com and search for dashboard. Here you will find a page full of dashboard design inspiration. Step two, exploring pneumorphism design. Among the myriad of styles, we're specifically drawn to the pneumorphism trend for its sleek and modern appearance. We'll delve into examples of pneumorphism dashboards on Dribble, dissecting their key features and design principles. Type neomorphism dashboard in the search bar and hit enter. Scroll down and in this video, we will use this dashboard of Nev Sunday as example. It's a beautiful example of a pneumorphism dashboard, which we will use as inspiration for our Power BI dashboard design. Step three, translating ideas into Figma. With our inspiration in hand, it's time to roll up our sleeves and fire up Figma. We'll start by sketching out our dashboard layout, incorporating the pneumorphism aesthetic into our design elements. Figma is your go-to tool for mock-ups, prototyping, and even dashboard design. Plus, it's perfect for collaborating with your team members. Try Figma today and streamline your design process like never before. You can use Figma for free. Click the link below the video to access Figma and start creating. Step four, crafting the dashboard background. Next, we'll dive deeper into Figma, refining our dashboard background to achieve the perfect balance of depth, shadow, and texture characteristic of the pneumorphism style. Open Figma and create a new file. Click on Frame and select TV from the options. This frame has dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels, which is the correct size for the Power BI dashboard. Match the background color of the dashboard to the one in the example. Add rectangles to the dashboard design. To achieve the pneumorphism effect, apply two types of shadows to each rectangle. A white shadow with a negative X and Y offset. A dark shadow with a positive X and Y offset. Repeat this process for all elements in the design to achieve the pneumorphism effect. Step five, bringing it to life in Power BI. With our background design finalized, it's time to export it from Figma and import it into Power BI. We'll seamlessly integrate our pneumorphism background into the Power BI canvas, setting the stage for our stunning dashboard. Step six, designing the dashboard in Power BI. Now comes the fun part, designing the rest of our dashboard in Power BI. We'll add dynamic visualizations, interactive elements, and personalized insights to create a truly immersive data experience. And there you have it, our viral pneumorphism dashboard is complete. From inception on Dribble to realization in Power BI, we've journeyed through the creative process, mastering the art of pneumorphism design along the way.